Post-herpetic neuralgia is a whole bunch of words from Greek that most people think, man, that's a bunch of words from Greek. I'm not sure what that means. Neuralgia is pain of the nerves. Post-herpetic, post means after, herpetic means after some kind of disease that causes vesicles. So like chickenpox, or more specifically in this case, shingles. The classical teaching is that post-herpetic neuralgia is the result of these viruses that live in the nerve root, okay, right by the spinal cord. And that they pop out over the course of this one nerve, to cause a rash, and then you end up with chronic pain. Doc, you helped my friend so-and-so with his problem that nobody else could figure out. Can't you do the same thing for me? So he comes back a couple weeks later and he says to me, Doc, I, I had a few hours of relief. It was awesome. And he said, well, Doc, you said if you turned off the nerve successfully with the injection, you could turn it off permanently with surgery. And when are we gonna do my surgery? I said, sir, I don't know if the surgery is gonna help you or not. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it won't. He said, doc, I'm willing to take that risk. If you think there's any chance that the surgery is gonna help, then please do it. He said, it's kind of like chemo, right? There are certain chemo treatments that patients undergo and you know that the chance that they're going to be cured is really small, but the patients do the chemo anyway, and the doctor gives them the chemo anyway. To this day, Eight years later, he's pain-free. What that taught me, and what all the other patients I've seen taught me, is that while it's true that that virus lives in the nerve root, and it's true that the rash that comes along the course of that nerve causes shingles, and while it's true that the shingles causes this chronic pain in some patients, I think the conventional understanding of post-herpetic neuralgia is incomplete. What the surgery confirms is that when you disconnect that nerve, you disconnect that nerve from the pain generator. For people with post-herpetic neuralgia, there is hope.